Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna react to Kerala Day, Ela Varkum Namaskaram. So, our captain Guru Prasad has told me that today is Kerala Day, also referred to as Kerala P. Ravi, marks the birth of the state of Kerala in southern India. The state of Kerala was created on the 1st of November 1956, long after the independence of India. Since today is Kerala Day, please react to seven facts about Kerala. So, happy Kerala Day. Um, as you guys know, I have made a lot of Malayalam movie reactions here, trailer reactions, and soon we will make a movie reaction. So, if you guys want to see that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and remember, the more Malayalam uh, audience we have, the more Malayalam videos we will make for you to request Go ahead and subscribe guys so i'm gonna react to this video um that he sent me which is the seven facts about kerala and i have been um looking for something else which could be significant to kerala and i found this kerala boat song which has 91 million views and Many comments say that it is a masterpiece, so I'm going to react to that also in tribute to Kerala. But when I was researching Kerala, I saw that uh, Miss Kerala has passed away, Ansi Kabir. So rest in peace. I wouldn't have to pay my respects to her. I, do, I didn't know who she was. I just saw that she has passed away, so respect to her. And... In memory of her so let's go to this video right off the bat and may her soul rest in peace so this is seven facts about Kerala let's go Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. If you like geography or history, this place is for you. There are hundreds of videos on this channel about this world's countries and states and history subjects. So please, do subscribe. Kerala is a state that lies on the southwestern tip of India. Over 33 million people live in a space just a bit bigger than Moldova in Europe. Wow. 33 Despite million. Despite being so crowded, the statistics for this place are impressive. It has the highest Human Development Index score in India, which measures things like life expectancy, education and per capita income. Wow. Often in countries that struggle with their economy, education lags behind. In Kerala though, authorities managed to increase the literacy rate to over 94%, which is an astonishing accomplishment. The state is also a diverse one. Its culture is a synthesis of Aryan, Dravidian, Arab and European cultures wow. developed over millennia. A lot of different cultures in one state. Kerala is celebrated as the Spice Coast of India. Wow. From ancient times, Kerala played host to travelers and traders from across the world, including the Greeks, Romans, Arabs, Chinese, Portuguese, Dutch, French and the British. Wow. But this trade goes way back in time. This place has been a major exporter of spices since at least 3000 BC and is mentioned in Sumerian records. Babylonians, Assyrians, Egyptians and Phoenicians all knew about this place and its wonderful spices. Okay, so we can thank Kerala for all the tasty food. Hinduism is the major religion in Kerala, just like in the rest of the country. But Kerala has something unique to add to this faith. The richest Hindu temple and quite possibly the wealthiest place of worship on the entire planet. Padmanabhaswami Temple is located in the state's capital city, gold, and its vaults hold treasures beyond your wildest dreams. 
it is conservatively estimated that the value of the monumental items like gold and precious gems are worth around 17 billion US dollars. If the antique and cultural value were taken into account, these assets could be worth 10 times the current market value. Wow. So, a lot of security needed there, right? And keep in mind that the largest of the temple's vaults hasn't even been open yet, so this value could actually be much, much higher. Wow. If these riches don't really impress you, don't worry, oh, Kerala still has a lot to offer. National Geographic named this state one of the 10 paradises of the world, and for good reason. Their own tourism department called Kerala God's own country. The natural landscapes are absolutely jaw-dropping and this has been noticed by the world. It looks nice. More than 10 million tourists visit this place every year and that number is rapidly climbing. As I said, the state authorities put great efforts into educating their population and the achievements are impressive. Since 2007, the net enrollment in elementary education was almost 100% and is almost perfectly balanced amongst sexes, social groups and regions. Wow. There are insignificant differences between education in rural and urban areas, which is something that even some rich countries struggle with. Yeah. As a result, there are practically no localities in Kerala without a school and this significantly and continuously increases the people's quality of life. As a teacher myself, I am really proud of this. Education should be available to everyone. And the government should not measure any efforts to bring education to every single child and adult in, in the state. That is amazing. I commend them for their efforts. Going back to religion, Hinduism isn't the only one that stands out in Kerala. There are large communities of Muslims and Christians too and they too have a long history in this region. The Syro Malabar Catholic Church located in Palayur was established according to tradition in 52 AD by Saint Thomas, one of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. Oh cool. In Metala, the Cheraman Juma Mosque, the first ever mosque in India, was built in 629 AD by Malik bin Dinar, a companion of the Prophet Muhammad. The oldest active synagogue, not just in India, but in the whole Commonwealth of Nations, is the Paradesi Synagogue, located in Kochi and built in 1567 AD. Wow. Long, Ayurveda is a system of medicine with historical ago. roots in the Indian subcontinent. Today they are considered to be a type of alternative medicine and general wellness therapy. In Kerala though, it is still considered to be a mainstream medicine. Aside from using a plethora of plants, roots, leaves and fruits, Ayurveda also focuses on exercise, yoga and meditation. This ancient practice is still widely used in Kerala and you actually have very little chances to not try it out if visiting the place. Wow, you know that the best type of medicine are the ones that we find in nature and that is so interesting. Okay, so now we're going to react to this. Um, I think this is the most viewed music video from Kerala. So in tribute for Kerala Day, we're going to react to this as well. This is the Kerala Boat Song, Vidya Vox English Remix. She has a great singing voice.
I wish there were subtitles for this part. But wow, this is so cool. They did a great job with the remix. Bro! I'm vibing with this. Oh, this is so cool. Beautiful dancing, beautiful culture, beautiful traditional clothing. Wow. Wow. Is that like a cover of Justin Bieber's Sorry? A version? Wow. Vidya Vox. Nice. I really enjoyed that. Guys, these were um, the videos that was selected for Kerala Day. So today is Kerala Day, also referred as Kerala Piravi. So I want to wish you guys a happy Kerala Piravi, a happy Kerala Day. And please subscribe. We need more Malayalam audience here on the channel so that you guys can send me more videos and help me select the videos that you want me react to react to and yeah so guys thank you so much happy kerala day don't forget click that subscribe button so that we can um, make the malayalam audience stronger here on the channel you should have a stronger presence and you guys know that i'm doing my best to support malayalam movies and when you guys bring your community together here to the channel, you will have more chances of um, getting more reactions for Malayalam. So do that. Subscribe. Um, I like to keep it democratic here. So we always use voting. We always use polls. So the more you guys are present and active, the more we will have uh, videos from Kerala, videos from Mollywood, you know, so thank you so much guys. I really appreciate you being here and Happy Kerala day. I hope you guys enjoy your day. I believe it's a public holiday So enjoy your day with your family with your friends and enjoy I don't know have some good spices, <laughs> you know food with spices eat as much as you are allowed to and Yeah, I'll see you in the next video Take care, guys. Be blessed. And thank you so much for watching. Share this with your friends and tell them, let's make a strong presence on, on this channel. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. I will see you on the next one. And also, check out my Malayalam Mollywood um, video reactions. There are a few here on the channel. 
especially Minal Murali. I'm sure you're going to be interested in that. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.